So if you're wanting to buy or sell your house, you're probably wondering, do I need to use a realtor? Now, if you're selling, I have a separate video that you can watch here. Now, if you're buying, no, you are not required to use a realtor. But why wouldn't you? It's practically free for you to use. You are also not required to use the front desk when you walk into a big unknown building. But in both instances, it's free to you and it'll make your life so much easier in whatever you're doing so much faster. So let me ask you, why wouldn't you use a realtor? I don't know, but here are some reasons why you should. Did you know that typically the sellers pay your agent even when you're buying? Because your buyer's agent brought you the buyer to the seller to purchase their home. So they did a service to the seller and they pay your agent. Now there are only certain circumstances where you may have to pay it out of your pocket. And the most common is in negotiations. And that is you negotiated to pay for your own agent in order to beat out the other buyers and get the house, especially in a seller's market. Now there are a lot of buyers that want the one house. So you have to be creative and think of ways to outbeat those other buyers. And we can talk about that in another video as well. Now, if you want to be stubborn, I know I can be sometimes, and you really want to try to buy a house on your own, here are some things that you should really think about before you do it. Now, there are some limitations that you may have. For instance, you don't have access to our database, which has the newest listings when prices are adjusted, when a house is no longer on the market. Now, if you want to try to do your own, I would suggest Realtor.com because that is directly related to the network that we use. And I would highly recommend not using Zillow. Guys, Zillow pulls whatever information they can find on the internet, whether it's accurate or not, and they do not hold themselves accountable for the information on their own website. That is not trustworthy. Now say that you find the perfect house in your price range and you found it before all the other buyers. You still have to contact either the agent or the seller to see the house. You're not able to see it on your own. Now guys, you have to remember that they are under contract and working for the seller, not for you. Now, legally, they have to tell you certain things, but they cannot lie to you, but they may not share all the information that they know about the seller. Now, on the other side, anything you say, they can go tell the seller and they can use it against you when you're negotiating for the house. And even if you do sign that agent under contract, so they are legally your buyer's agent, you have to remember that they worked for the seller first and the seller is paying their paycheck. So they're still going to favor the seller. So again, if you're wanting to buy a house on your own, you have to know the market. You have to call up the seller or the seller's agent. You have to know how to negotiate. You have to know the paperwork to make sure that you're not getting screwed. A realtor will not only know what to look for, they can also take the fall if anything does go wrong later on. So again, why wouldn't you use a realtor at no cost to you? So I highly, highly recommend using a realtor if you're buying a house. It can not only save you money, it can save you time, and it can save you stress. And when you're stressed, who do you take it out on? Your family. But just make sure that you find one that you trust. Trust is a very big keyword here, guys. You have to trust a realtor. We are like your guidance counselor. We have the knowledge, we have the experience, and we get to know you and your family so that we can give you all the advice you need to make a confident decision so that you really know just what you want and how to get it. So guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and trust your realtor.